Hey, you. Time to do a food review. We got Caps Deli over there, and I'm not gonna lie, they told me they might invite some people over to watch their review, and there's about, I don't know, 10 people out front. I'm not Dave Portnoy. I don't know how to feel about this, but I, I will say I feel nervous. How are you guys? Hey, how are you? The American yeah. dream? Yeah, you know. Good to see you. I love it, man. Hey, dog. dog. I'm, look at this little, yeah. little hometown slice of heaven right here. It really is. It really, yeah, I love this. What's it like when it's hustling and bustling in here? It's gotta be wild. Yeah, I can imagine. It's so small, I'll take out. I yeah. Mean, two, two people can sit here at the counter. Sure. But that's it, man. We're, uh, we're busy. This is 65 years. Yeah, I was gonna say, so how long have you had it now? So since, since 07. Okay, okay. So, yeah, it was Frank and Eddie's. Frank and Eddie were brothers. Yeah. They started it back in the day. Mm -hmm. Eddie passed away. Okay. Frank's wife took it over. Eddie's wife took it over. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. And then this other lady took it over and I took it from her. Okay. And what was the background for you prior to this? I was just in the restaurant biz. Mm -hmm. And um, my father-in-law and all the guys used to hang outside and have coffee. Yeah. And he was the, so you know, there's a deli up on 4th. Okay. He's the original owner of that. Oh, It used all right. to be called Al's Deli. Yeah. So he's the original owner, okay. like in 1980. Mm -hmm. So he was just hanging out here and he's like, hey, Jeannie, she's the owner. She's like, if you ever think about selling, I want to get back in the biz, let me know. Mm -hmm. So she tells him one day and he's like, great, I'm going to take it over. Yeah. We go to a wedding like a month later, starts having heart palpitations. Oh, Jesus so, Christ. It's like, right, man, I, I don't think I can do it. Yeah. I can't do it. I can do it too. So, so much going into this. Right. So he's like, you should do it. So I took it over. Here we are. What I love it most about this. You can't hide anything. You're right there cooking. Back here is all open. Everything has to look the part. Everything's gotta be clean. So it like makes you feel comfortable when you walk into a place like this go, I literally can see every single everything. thing I'm getting. You know, people watch us, yeah. people like this in the middle of lunch. Yeah. What are you doing? Probably over? just like I'm having like, a conversation, yeah. right? That's like, what oh, it is. yeah, like, exactly. Like this is your, like, that's my manager, Margaret, my okay. employee, Asi. Like, we know everyone's name. Yeah. So people come in and say, yo, Bob, what's up? The yeah. the usual. Right. Start cooking it. I mean, how many people are just coming in right down the, right down the street and before their day comes in and just like, oh, right, hey, let me get my, let me get my bacon, egg, and cheese real quick. See the ramp and everybody out there, you're like, man, this is just, this is, this is Main Street Americana right here. This is what you love to see. Everybody hang out here on every Saturday? Every Sunday. Sunday? Well, perfect. So, so what about, what about Saturday? You guys hang out on Saturdays too? Who's been coming here the longest? I would say I've been coming here since I was a little kid. I don't know if you mentioned it was Frank and Eddie's. He did. Again he here. did. He was so showcasing that. There's a baseball field right here. Okay. So we used to, this was our stop to get our big league chew and then come in. And so I'm going to be 50. So I've been God bless here you. since, yeah. Okay. Long time. What's like your favorite thing to get here? What she just had. The old world Italian is very good. Okay. I really yeah. like the old world Italian. All right. The roasted bread makes it right on top. Yeah. Um, what do you like, Jay? What's the meatball yours? farm. The meatball like farm. Hit the road jack. Hit the that's road it. jack. That's, is, that's another one. That's a good okay. One. Awesome. Yeah. I, I get the lug and the Zeps too. The Zeps. Are nice. Zeps. I, you know, I've never had a Zep. So they always put them on Kaisers. I get them on the long rolls just because mm. it's better. It's longer. Yeah. Better leave with a Zep. Honestly, right. I'm going to ask Red. Okay. We're going to get you a Zep. You can leave with that. Definitely try. You've uh, never had a Zep? I'm not going to say. Do you hear this guy? I'm not going to say no to this guy. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I saw that they have like the homemade uh, pork, the meatballs, the oh, roast yeah, beef, and everything. Yeah. Is there a bad thing here? I mean, honestly, there's yeah. not. I was going to say, I, you guys I, are probably going to say no. And the ladders are freaking huge. Yeah. Has this always been like the hometown small spot where it's like you just walk in, bang, bang, you get your stuff, you shoot the breeze out here, and it then. Has, yes. Yeah. Yep. It's a good spot. Yeah, no, it's it looks. Spot. Is it? Everyone stops by. I mean, this isn't uncommon. No? No. I love that. Especially yeah, you know, during weather times, right? With the snow and all yeah. the arrow guys pile here. You know, okay. they'll be up and down, plowing. And whatnot, yeah. And then the Pico uh, is right up the street, so they get massive orders from here. Okay. So, yeah, he gets a lot of. Yeah, 65 years. I mean, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's right. pretty cool. Right. That's pretty cool. I've been coming here 40 years. 40 wow. Years, 65, so yeah. Wow. I'm old, bro. So how many sandwiches over those 40 years do you think you've put down? If you can oh, give wow. a how many guess. Have I paid for? <laughs> <laughs> how many have I paid for? I have a tab and when he has No wonder you keep coming back here. Are you got a scratch off there? I, I, I actually, at one point, I hit a $10,000 scratch off here. So there's that too. So there's the tab. You just hand it back to him. Yeah. Easiest 10 grand you'll ever make. Yeah, well, 75 because Right. Of course. They got to get their piece, right? They're 25 months. So. Ready to hit the Phillies. I'm going to tell them to make you a Zep, man. Nice meeting you, I appreciate it. Likewise. All right. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. Appreciate you. What'd you get? 
bacon, egg, and cheese with the sriracha glaze on a concha hock and long roll because it just felt like it was right. Uh -huh. yep. uh, I run, I run back to the car. Just do the rest of your car. Yeah, seriously. I know, right? This is awesome. Having everybody in the back too. Incredible. Awesome. Good. That turned out good. Yeah, that uh, perfected that recipe. Dude, it needs on. to always be on your menu forever. Forever. Yeah, we'll start banging it out. All right, oh, you, say it on there. you should bottle this stuff and sell it. That good, huh? Yeah. That's fun. It, was, it was a good sauce. Yeah, I threw it on your chicken tender. Yeah. Nice. Oh, look at it. It's getting ready to drip, but it doesn't want to leave the conchi roll. I get it. Where else should I have it today? Anywhere? Just here. And like I said, the only thing we got to do today yeah. is just watch a watch a Phillies game because I might do the Zep. I might just throw in a bonus review on the Zep. I've never had a Zep before. I'm never, I don't even, what is it? I've heard of the Narstown Zep forever. I have no idea what it is. Cooked salami, provolone, tomato, onion, oil, and oregano. No lettuce. It's like a, it's a thing. Right, yeah, I've never had one. Do you put the hoagie spread on there or no? I didn't, I put it on the side. Do okay. you put it on? No, I'm just like, what do, what do most people do? I put, I love the hoagie spread on. It all, yeah. It all depends. depends. Okay. Mark just Mark just told me a strong arm yet to take this out. If you like, it wasn't spice, that like strong. He, said, uh, he, he was. I don't know that I had a choice. You gotta have it. Yeah. Said, okay. He said okay, and I, I don't think I could have said no. Honestly. Yeah, if you like the spice on that, you like the sweet heat in it. Mm -hmm. You like the spice a little bit. I do. I would, yeah. throw, I would throw the peppers on there. How do you feel on floppy bacon versus crispy bacon? I'm a floppy guy. Same. Okay. There's three of us. Yeah. There's three of us then. I, so we will part cook our bacon. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And that's when I eat it. Okay. When it's halfway done. Yeah. So 99% of my customers, crispy bacon. Yeah, that's what it was out here. Literally. Not, it was insane. 99%. <laughs> like so what we'll wind up doing, just throw it in the fryer. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, just quick and so easy. Or cook it, yeah. you know, and then throw it in the fryer. Yeah. Nice and, nice and crispy. How was, how was yours? I kind of oh, tried to perfect. do yours <laughs> yeah. not too crispy. Oh, it was great. It had that little bit of flop to it, but it had a little bite on the edges. It was yeah, very nice. nice. Glad you enjoyed everything. I don't know how you stay so thin and in shape I'm working here, man. Good for you. This is great, man. Thank you so much for having us out. Wow. Uh, Caps Deli and Concha Hocken. What an absolute great spot. So family oriented, so friendly. It's literally that neighborhood spot that you go to and just post up, get your coffee, get your breakfast sandwich. And if you guys haven't watched the video, it's on Instagram, but we did a bacon, egg, and cheese, a bacon, egg, and cheese on a Concha Hocken long roll with a sriracha maple glaze and it was it was stellar it was awesome it's got that sweet heat but it's more heat than sweet unlike some other drizzles that are out there right now both are great both are great in their own right just an awesome time in an awesome area with awesome people phenomenal so thanks for watching thanks for being a part of another chase you food review behind the scenes you guys know the deal where are we going next <laughs>